Alright guys, Terry Doctor here bringing you some infantry tips for Hell Let Loose. If you like this video, then give it a like and subscribe for more. Communication. I've said this in pretty much all of my tip videos, but communication is key in Hell Let Loose. I highly recommend getting a microphone if you do not have one. It is okay if you don't, just remember to speak to your team and squad in the text chat. If you're going to be a squad leader or a commander, then you definitely need a microphone. Callouts. What I mean by this is what you say when you see something. It's pretty useless to say, I see the enemy over there. It doesn't let your squad know where the enemy are at all. I like to say something like, contact 300. Saying contact should alert everyone that I've spotted the enemy and 300 is just the compass direction I've spotted the enemy. The game does now have a ping system where you can place a temporary marker as something you are looking at. This has made calling out enemy positions a lot easier. You can make your call out along with a ping to help your team spot the enemy a lot quicker. Check your key bindings for your ping button. Cover and concealment. This is not Call of Duty or Battlefield. If you find yourself out of cover during a firefight, you're a dead man. Use anything you can find to give you cover or at least to conceal you. If you find yourself running across a big field, use craters, hay bales, dead cows, anything you can see. Even when I'm not under fire, I tend to run near cover just in case someone is watching me. Remember, you can crouch run as well. Just think you are being watched at every moment you're running around. You can also lean out of cover to keep some of your body behind that cover. Shooting. Hell Let Loose uses a ballistic system, so your bullet needs to travel before it hits its target. What this means for you is if you are hitting targets further away, you may need to aim slightly up. If you are hitting a moving target, then you may need to aim a bit in front of them. Different guns have different ballistic properties, so how much you need to adjust your aim between the weapons will be different, such as a Car 98K versus a Thompson. For the Thompson, you will need to aim higher against targets further away as the bullets will drop quicker. The game also features a suppression system, so if you're shooting near the enemy and you don't kill them, they'll be suppressed. Their screen will darken go blurry and shake from the gunfire aimed at them. Use this feature to keep their heads down to allow you to change positions or to assist other squads. Frag grenades. These are deadly and hell let loose and amazing at clearing out groups of enemies. If you're going to throw a frag grenade, say it in local chat that you're throwing one and in which direction. You don't want your squad or other friendlies to run into that grenade. For long range throws, you use left click on your mouse. For very short range, use right click, as right click will do a small underarm throw, which is great for getting it just over a wall onto the other side of a hedge. Smoke grenades. Smoke grenades are your friends in Hell Let Loose. The best use for these is to cover your advance and block the enemy's field of view. When you throw a smoke, this may sound strange, but don't throw it in front of your team, aim it in front of the enemy. This will give you more cover and it will mean that you won't be running through the smoke into the unknown. Helmets. So a tip for helmets. Yep. If you see a dead enemy on the ground with his helmet on, he is waiting for a revive. That could mean that his squad, or at least a friendly medic, is nearby. The only way to fully kill a downed enemy at the moment is with explosives. Shooting him in the head while he's already down will not finish him. If you headshot an enemy that is alive, you will hear the super satisfying ding noise and he'll be completely dead and unrevivable. If an enemy gets blown to pieces by explosives, he will be dead. Really dead. A side note that changing your helmet in your appearance menu would not give you more or less protection. Nameplates. Go into your general settings and set your nameplates to at least 250 meters. 
This will help you quickly identify friendly targets at range so you don't accidentally team kill them. Many players recommend setting this to 500 but for me 250 is fine and it's given me no issues. Spawning. You can spawn at three different types of locations. The headquarters, the garrison and an outpost. The headquarters is your main base. The garrison is a team spawn point that is constructed by the commander or squad leader using supplies. An outpost is a squad only spawn point created by the squad leader. If you see a red mark with an exclamation point in it on the spawn point, that means there are enemies nearby. So when you spawn in, get down and quickly scan around for enemies. Squad play. Hell Let Loose is a team based shooter. You have to join a squad to spawn, so stick with this squad and work with them. You will have a much better game for it, even if it ends up in a loss. So that's it for these 10 tips for infantry and Hell Let Loose. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helps you out a bit. So if it does, give it a like and subscribe for more videos. I've got plenty of tips and gameplay videos on Hell Let Loose. And thank you for watching. Good game, everyone. Yeah, GG.